Hello, my name is Kyle Patterson and I'm studying Business Management at Leeds Beckett University. In this vlog, I'll be discussing some different definitions of entrepreneurial marketing in relation to a small cafe called LS6 Cafe, which is located in Headingley. I'll then go on to discuss the different key issues within the micro and macro environment that could potentially have an impact on the business. Firstly, the definition of entrepreneurial marketing has slowly changed throughout the years to become what it is today. Stokes, in 2000, mainly relates the fact that entrepreneurial marketing is, is only linked to small and medium-sized businesses, which is correct, but has been adapted since then and can in fact be used with larger businesses too. Hills and Holtman, in 2011, focused more on the fact that it's still been innovative and taken risks in order to market a business, and generalises the idea that entrepreneurial marketing is the technique and how you market, rather than what types of businesses actually do it. This is also shown in Beecher's definition in 2008, which describes entrepreneurial marketing as pursuing opportunities in uncertain market circumstances. Again, shown that rather than smaller businesses using it, it's more to do with uncertainty and risk. The macro environment is basically anything that is happening outside of the business that could have a direct effect on the business. One of the models used to help explain the macro environment is the pestle analysis. One of the main issues that LS6 Cafe has faced is to do with the legal portion of this theory. This is because the sugar tax that has recently been implemented into law has been enforced, resulting in the cafe having to increase some of their prices, such as on the sugar shack section of their menu and on any fizzy drinks and alcoholic drinks that include sugar. Another factor within the macro environment that could affect the organisation's marketing techniques could be socio-cultural issues. After looking at the menu for LS6 Cafe, the socio-cultural issue is the fact that they don't offer many vegetarian or vegan options. They do offer a limited number of vegan options, but these are only just side dishes and there's no proper meals that a vegan person could have, which is a major flaw within the business due to the amount of people who are trying to become vegan. For LS6 Cafe, their competitors could be a major influence on their marketing techniques as the more slash bigger their competitors are, the harder it's going to be for them to actually keep their customers and attract new ones as they'll have to think of techniques better than their competitors in order to do this. Their main competitors are small cafes right next to them such as RNA's Cafe as this cafe offers very similar products but a bigger range of items. This cafe is both a takeaway and a sitting cafe, a feature that LS6 Cafe should think about including with their business to attract more customers. The business also features many more vegan options and actual vegan meals, which could help to attract those customers. Another vital feature that RNA's Cafe offers that LS6 Cafe doesn't is the fact that they deliver. Delivery is a huge part of most cafes and restaurants now, as many people just want food delivered to their front door. Another factor of the microenvironment is word of mouth. This is all to do with the satisfaction of customers, so it's vital that their needs are met. It generally involves using social media and other forms of online communication to share their opinions of what the business is and what they have to offer and the quality of which they do so. It's one of the most important and effective methods of marketing as it can be spread throughout the entire world within seconds. So, although LS6 Cafe is just a small local business, the information regarding the different products that they offer can easily be spread to people who live on the other side of the world. For example, They've got a Facebook page and Instagram page where pictures and information of their products are advertised, allowing people to comment and share their opinions on the products, usually encouraging potential customers to visit. One tactic that LS6 Cafe uses is content marketing. This is because they post many different pictures on their Instagram account in order to attract and retain their customers. For example, they post posted pictures about gay pride, which is a socio-cultural factor, showing that they are diverse and care about all different types of customers. This is a very good way to show that they are diverse, creating customer retention. Something else they do is many dog competitions advertised on their social media and get their customers to comment who they think is the winner, which is a very innovative way to attract customers. A recommendation for LS6 Cafe to improve their entrepreneurial marketing activities could be by incorporating guerrilla marketing, also known as street marketing, into their marketing style. This is basically where they literally advertise on the streets using very little money or resources. For example, LX6 Cafe could start with getting their employees to hand out flyers around the streets close to the cafe during non-busy times, fills up time and promotes a business. They could also put up things such as posters with little coupons or discounts such as two for one drinks etc which again is innovative which would also help increase their customer base. This would benefit the business because it's also very cheap to do and could result in many possible customers.